I'm in Cannes on the eve of the 2024 Cannes Boat Show and I'm here today to show you the awesome all-new Saxdor 340 GTWA. This is a brand new model from Saxdor and it's going to sit really nicely in between the 320 GTO GTC and the 400 range. It is a fantastic addition to the lineup. So starting right at the back of the boat, first of all we've got the engines, right? So there's three engine options available for this boat. It starts off with the twin 200 V6s, the twin 225 V6s, or these are the 300 V8s. With the 300s, it's available also with a joystick option. All of the engine options that are available are available in black as standard or white as an upgrade. So access onto the boat is very, very straightforward. Whether you're up against the dock stern two or with a pontoon alongside, uh, we're quite high up here at the moment, but it's still very easy to step onto. The platform at the back isn't that far off the back of the engine, so you can get up really tight to the, to the, the wall. Um, and I say off this side or the other side here, it's very easy just to step straight off. The platform will be square to the finger pontoon that you're getting on and off. You've got a transom that you can walk straight over or obviously in and out of the boat. Um, it goes around to this side here. You've got a boarding ladder down here that's deployed for swimming and you've also got when you come out of the sea you've got a shower that comes out here for rinsing down there's also a hundred litre freshwater tank with this boat as you can see the platform on this boat is decked out with a simulated teak product which is an option as standard you get a non-slip diamond tread uh, throughout the boat which i can show you in the front of the boat under the seats in a moment there's cleats on each side of the platform, which are pull up for safety and styling. You've also got additional cleats here, midship cleats and forward cleats. And you've also got a number of tie-on points for your fenders down the side. This boat's fitted with the additional ski pole, which is a great addition to have. Um, it's got a really nice carbon wrap finish on it and some nice stainless steel detailing. So the optional stainless steel transom gates look fantastic. They've got these little safety catches on them. You need to lift them up and over for very safe and easy access in. So over to this side, we've got a nice non-slip area here. And in here, we've got a huge storage area. There's numerous fenders in here at the moment. Um, it's a great locker to have. It's nice smooth finish on the inside of it. So you can put all your ski ropes and stuff in there if you like. So over on the other side, the boat's pretty much mirrored, but under this locker here, we've got a sink, module with stainless steel tap and a cockpit grill as well which is an option it really finishes off this uh, this boat at the back really nicely there's also a hatch down here for all your technical access so as standard this boat comes with nothing here you just have an open deck which is what some people will want this boat's actually got the top upgrade on it which is the rear cabin fit out and the sun pad on the back now if you want the space but you don't want the cabin layout you can still have this as a uh, toy locker they call it uh, which would be the same pretty much shape as this it wouldn't have the windows and it wouldn't be kitted out for a cabin inside but you can still have the sun pad on the top so when fitted out with the sun pad it is a great space you can get three adults very comfortably on here um, there's a cup holder on each side as well and really nicely angled backrest uh, you're out of the wind as well so if you're anchored forward you've just got no wind you can just enjoy the sun so there's a few different upholstery options available on this boat this one is fitted externally at the moment with the standard upholstery which is called marble the other options available on the upholstery on this boat are the nougat the cognac and the honey in addition to the internal upholstery upgrade which is on this boat which is the cream and bronze so getting into this cabin at the back there's two ways you can go in through here which would be the same for your toy storage or you can get into it through the cabin which i'll show you a little bit later on so there's a locking mechanism here which you just push in and then you lift up and then you've got access into here or just to let the the, the light and air in um, if you're using this as i say for a toy storage or for putting all your, your wakeboards or whatever in there it's just good access you can get to without having to go through the boat so the back window on this boat is the actual optional upgrade as standard it's one piece of glass but this one's got a very cool trick it's electric and drops right down out the way which i'll show you shortly 
So just like the 320 GTO, GTC and the 400 range, this boat is also fitted with side terraces. On this, they're 2.7 meters long and they start from much further forward in the boat than on the 320s. So if you pull, release this, that's your mechanical release. And then over to this side, and then you press the lock button and release and it deploys electrically. Same on this side, lock, starboard terrace down and after you've released it. So there's a 150 kilogram load capacity on both of the terraces and this just really does open your boat up to so much more. It's very versatile. Okay, the roof's got some really nice detailed features on it. Um, if you look at the back here, it's a really nice smooth finish. You've got down lighters on here and you've got a piece of glazing in the top which just gives you more light at the back, but still gives you that protection from the sun. These clips at the back are for a rear sun canopy, so if in the hotter climates, you can just get out the sun if that's what you need to do. So access into the wheelhouse is very simple. The door opens, slides backwards and forwards this way, or that one slides backwards this way. So you can walk in here or you can walk in there. So you can see we've got it set up at the moment. Um, the driver's side does exactly the same. So the wheelhouse on this boat is huge. You've got a full beam bench across the back and then you've got, as an option, a double bench seat over to this side here, which has a flip over backrest for the helm. It's got a couple of other little tricks on it as well. As standard though, you'd have two bucket seats just like on the 320 GTC. Um, so this is an option, as I say. Um, you've got the, the table as standard on this boat. Now there's a, a bed option for it, which basically this will open out and there'll be an infill cushion that goes on it. That'll drop down and gives you a day bed as well as an option. In here as well, there's lots of light. There's lots of natural light overhead through the glass panels when you've got the, the optional roof open and obviously you've got 360 degrees of glazing. It's a really nice place to be. And if you want a little bit more air in it, this boat, as I say, has got the optional electric rear window, which I'll show you now. So now with the back window down, you can talk to the people outside as well very easy. It just opens the whole boat out. You've got lots of fresh air coming through and it's a really nice place to be. Now, if you want to entertain and dine inside and you want room for more people, so what we can do is we pull this lever out here, flip the table over, and then this side here, by pulling this lever, drops down to give you an even longer bench seat to accommodate for more people to dine inside. There's three options available for the roof on this boat. As standard, it would be a full GRP roof that doesn't open. There's then an optional roof, which is gonna be a glass electric sliding roof, which is essentially what we've got here. This is the prototype roof at the moment, but there will be, let's say, a glass option available for here. But then the third option is gonna be a canvas roof, very similar to the 320 GTC, which is just gonna open back a lot more and give more light into the cockpit. We've also got some backlit uh, level up panels on the top that really finish it off nicely. So this boat's fitted with the upgraded stereo system, which has got speakers at the back, internally here, a sub, speakers down below and in the front as well. So it's great sound on this boat wherever you are and you can uh, adjust the zones however you want. Underneath the uh, port side of the seat, there's this huge stainless steel fridge, which is really nicely finished and it's a great addition to the boat. So this bench seat has got another trick up its sleeve. It's basically electric as well. So you can adjust it backwards or forwards for the comfort of either the diners or the helm. So the armrest on this side also drops down, which actually is a very clever trick. So when you're docking the boat, if you just wanted to sit down outside as well, you're outside of the boat, you've got great visibility and you're supported. Okay, so this helm seat is uh, really nicely supported. You've got the armrest here, which gives you support to your side as well. Same over there for the passenger. You can always drop that side down as I showed you previously. You've got a nice raised footrest there. This really is the perfect position to be driving in. But remember, you can adjust this seat forwards or backwards with the electric adjustment on the side as well. Alternatively, the standard seats, as I said previously, are two bucket seats. You can stand and drive this boat as well, and it's got a tilt adjustable steering wheel so you can really find the perfect position for you. Throttles are easily accessible as well, just in the right position. Your vision is absolutely bang on as well. Straight through the windscreen, you're not looking into any pillars or any, any dashboards. It's great visibility right the way around the boat, as, again with, as I said again, with this 360 degree.
degrees of uh, glazing. You've also got quite a lot of options fitted on this boat, which I'll just talk you through them at the moment. So this has got the, the, the advanced navigation package. So it's got the two screens, it's got the radar, it's got all sorts of stuff on there really. Um, this has also got the joystick option with the, with the V8s, with Skyhook. So this allows you to maneuver the boat using just this joystick at dock. So it has three movements, forwards or backwards. You can go sideways at the same time and you can put it into a turn. We have done another video on that so you can take a look on our YouTube channel for that. So as a must, you wanna put a bow thruster on this boat, but this has got the advanced bow thruster which ties in with the joystick as well, which just gives even more control. But this boat, even with twin 200s, two, two, twin 225s and a bow thruster is very easy to maneuver anyway. So over here, we've got the, the trim tab system. All future boats are gonna have the zip wake system as an option on there. Uh, this has got the JL audio system controller here for the stereo that I mentioned earlier on. And then you've got all of the switches for the operation of your deck lights, your roof opening, closing. But on this boat, they're all split up as well. So it's a lot easier to use uh, when you're driving. You've got a grab handle here for one of your passengers. You've also got a charging point here for your phone, which is uh, wireless, and you've also got two USB points down here. You've got VHF down to this side here, and we've also got cup holder over to this side for the passenger. Up on the forward screen, you've got uh, two wipers that just give you great visibility when you're underway, and there's also ventilation going direct onto the windscreen there, so you can use it as a demist. Um, in conjunction with the heating package or with the aircon package. So access to this rear cabin is via this seat base here and this door. So the door slides over, you pull on here and flip this up and over. So now you've got access down, there's a step on the side here and you come down into the cabin. Once you're in here, you can see it's extremely spacious. You've got windows on three sides. You've got these blinds for privacy. You've got overhead lighting, you've got the reading lights and then you've also got this really nicely finished uh, head panel here and remember as i said previously you can get out through this door as well the mattresses come and you've got come with the boat with the rear cabin package you've got storage over the head here and you've got storage down the sides as well when selected with a uh, air con or heating you've also got outlets back here too so access down below is through this smoked first back door which slides across Got a lever that you flip over to stop it um, taking your fingers off if you're out on a chop. Two steps down. So down here the space is very similar to the 320 GTO and the GTC. Um, the only bit of space you lose is a little bit of overhead space further down, but to be fair you're going to sleep with your head up here anyway, so you're not really uh, losing anything down here. As you can see, if I pull myself right down to the bottom of the bed there, I've still got this much space above as well, so there's loads of room, there's overhead lights, you've got an escape hatch here, and you've got um, blinds here and up there too. Lots of overhead lighting throughout the cabin as well. So it's very similar, as I say, to 320 GTO and GTC in here. So you've now got a totally private head and loads of space here. Uh, behind this door, you've got a locker with lots of space in there. The heads are great, you've got um, a sink, you've got a tap, you've got storage overhead with mirrors on, good deep storage. Um, you've got access to uh, below here for your technical stuff, but you've got a, another locker here, and there's a seat over the top of the toilet, which lifts up out the way when you're not getting changed and you want to use the loo. Now the toilet system on this has got, it's part of the fresh water package, so it has an electric flush loo, holding tank, and it's also possible to have a grey waste tank as an option on the boat as well. So this boat's fitted with, as I said previously, the optional upgraded JL audio system. There's also uh, air conditioning on this boat. And in here, you've got your full control panel, which has all your um, breakers and technical gear. So access up to the front's very straightforward. You've got nice, deep down side decks. You've got a grab handle that runs full length. And just like on the 320 GTC, you've got this uh, groove under here, or channel rather, which you can also grab hold of on the way forward. But it's a nice, safe place to be. The grab handles continue right the way to the front of the boat. When you're up here, you can see we've got an electric table and we've got the, the sofa option layout, so standard. The sofas don't come with it, the table doesn't come with it. 
Uh, this is going to open up as well and you'll have an infill cushion that goes on here to convert this into a big sun pad. But as you can see, previously mentioned, you've got grab handles, you've got cup holders up here, cup holders over there, grab handle down this side. So it really is a safe place to be. You can get a couple of people here, probably three across there. So you can get five up front pretty, pretty easily up here on this boat, maybe even more. So when the tables drop down, the infill cushion is on on it. You can see how many different ways you can lie out on this boat. There's room for two people stretched out fully, or you can get a lot more just nicely reclined here. It's a great space, great addition to the sun pad that's already on the back and a huge dining area that complements the huge internal dining area you've already got. So this boat is fitted with the extremely effective forward light bar and it's also got a thermal imaging camera. It's fantastic styling on the roof as well and the guttering really does do a great job of dispersing the water. So please bear in mind this is the very first of the 340s GTWAs. We will be doing a full detailed video presentation when we get our first boat in stock in the UK. For more information on this boat or anything else in the Saxdor range, please do get in contact 01758 703013. Email us sales at idealboat.com or watch our YouTube channel. So click over here to subscribe or click over here for another video in the Saxdor range.